In this video, we'll look at how to enable users to be able to see multiple business process flows, especially in opportunities. So when a new business process flow is created, uh, not all the users will be able to see or have the choice to switch between the business process flows. So we'll be going through on how to enable that. To start, we'll go ahead and create a test business process flow by going to settings, then processes, And for this example, I've already created the opportunity sales test process, and we'll just update and save it and hit close. And now you can see the new business, the new process flow is activated. And just to show on the administrator account, if you go and open an opportunity, we'll go to a sales opportunity. And in order to switch the business process flow here, you need to go to processes and switch processes. And now, as you can see, I've got two options here. One is the default opportunity sales process and the one I just created, opportunity sales test process. However, not all users will be able to see this and to enable it for someone, you need to go to settings and go to security, because uh, this is a security-based issue, we'll need to enable the business process flow for the security group that the users are in. Click on security roles, and we'll be working with the salesperson security role. We'll click on that. And now we have to click on the business process flows tab. And as you can see right now, the opportunity sales test process does not have any access enabled. So what we can do is we can either give a business unit or a full organization access. We'll just go ahead and give full organization access. And save and close. And to show off the change, we'll go ahead, log in with a test user. I've logged in as Jill Manager, who has been given the salesperson security role. And now she can go ahead and click opportunities and we'll bring up any of the open opportunities. And the default business process flow will show up first. And if Jill wants, she can go ahead and switch this to the test process flow We'll click on process again, and then switch process. And we'll pick the new one that we just made and click select. Uh, and also note that if the security role was not enabled, she would only be able to see the one option, the default option instead of the two. All right, and that's it. And now we can see the test business process flow is in effect. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much. Until next time. For more Dynamics 365 support and to learn how we can help you get the most out of your CRM system, click the link on your screen.